Tupedia World videos. We are learning PowerPoint advanced tips and tricks and my name is Neeru Varma. Topic for today's session is creating the infographic icons. We learn in this session that how do we create the infographic icon in our presentation. But before we proceed, we need to understand that what is the meaning of the infographics. This is a, a small definition and uh, I have jotted down certain points that can make you understand that what is the meaning of infographic. The infographics or these are the graphic visual representation of the information, data or knowledge and that is intended to present information quickly and clearly. If we have some data with us, instead of showing that in the tabular form, if we represent the data in a graphical manner or we represent that with the help of the pie chart, then the data become more presentable and that would be easy to understand as well. So that's why we require the infographics so that we can see and we can understand. We can grasp the information immediately once we see that, once we have a look onto it. And if we are talking about in the enterprise uh, level, infographics are used by all level of the management for high level views of the data. Infographics include bar charts, pie charts, histograms, line chart, tree diagram and network diagrams. Infographics are being used more and more frequently to help people understand the information contained in the data. We have seen a lot of times that whenever we represent the data in the form of the charts or in the form of the bars, then we can easily do the comparisons like what is the growth, which portion is going high and it becomes easy for us to understand that as well. So that's why there is a need of infographics. Apart from the bar graphs and pie charts and the line charts, we do have certain icons and symbols also. With the help of that, we can represent the information. You must have seen that sometimes the information is shown with a human figure also. So I'll teach you in this particular video that how we can create that figure. Okay. So uh, I have a blank slide here. If I want to create an infographic icon, I'll click on insert. With the help of the shape, I want to insert a circle first of all. And then I'm looking for some other shape that I can attach with this circle. I can go with this shape also, the rounded rectangle. Okay, so I'll resize that. I'm just trying to make that proportionate so that I can use this figure. Alright, so with the help of the circle with a rounded rectangle and with two more rectangle, we have almost created a human kind of figure. So what I'll do now is I'll select all of them and I'll group that image. Now that has become a single shape for me. Now I can do a copy and I can create multiple figures out of that. I'll select all of them now. I want to align them. Okay, I'll select all the figures. Okay, all the figures are selected now. I want to align them align to the top and then I'll distribute them horizontally all right so now suppose if I want to show something like um, where I want to show the different uh, human figures then I'll create the figures like that I'll select all of them I can resize them as well
I have created a small figure then I'll copy and paste it I resize if I want I can create a lot many copies and then I can represent the data in in the way I want I need to select all of them and then I can arrange them I can align them with the help of the align tool so this is one of the way and if you want to do it quickly then you can create certain figures like I'll create one more uh, human figure on a blank slide first I'll insert a slide here a circle then I'll insert one more shape now what I'll do is I'll remove the outline for the shape also shape outline I will go for no outline and here also I go with no outline so there is a perfect blend of this image this I'll select both of them if you want you can change the colors also shape fill I'll go for some other color I'll go with the in the green color okay now I'll, I'll create a copy and this time let, let's say I want to uh, select some other color say blue and now I want to change it to some other color either yellow or I'll select and before these figures you can write the descriptions also I have created these icons this is a kind of the, the human shape icon if you want you can write in here also you can increase the size and then you can do it or before these icon you can write the descriptions I can group this image again oh, click on the group this is the single icon now. I'll create a copy and then I can change the color to for this. So this is also one of the figure that you can uh, create with the help of the infographics, with the help of the shapes. So this is also a tool uh, the shape actually with the help of the basic shapes we create the human figure or any other figure to describe our data you must have seen in the presentation that some human figures are there while showing the survey results or while showing some marketing results these human figures are um, created and used so these are the two figures that we have created today and uh, I hope you have learned the easy concept of creating these figures quickly and easily. So that was it for the session for uh, we have learned that how do we create the infographic icons in the presentation. I'll give you some more ideas and tips for creating some other kind of infographic icon as well in the next video. So stay tuned and keep learning the PowerPoint tips. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.